सेवा को जा रही है महात्मा गांधी की प्रतिमा की मौजूदगी वहां पर दिखाई पड़ रही है और वहां पर महात्मा के साथ है ही इस वहां से कोई कमेंट्री नहीं है भैया walking red carpet at uh, the UN headquarters after paying uh, floral tributes at the bust of Mahatma Gandhi remember that this uh, is a gift uh, from India and this adorns uh, the North Lawns uh, it was gifted to the United Nations during India's presidency of the United Nations Security Council in December 2022 and uh, this was jointly inaugurated by the UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and India's external affairs minister Dr. S. J. Shankar and now we are building up to that moment when uh, a lot of uh, Indian Americans, members of the Indian diaspora, international personalities will be joining Prime Minister Narendra Modi as he leads the 9th International Yoga Day celebrations. And the visuals were overlooking uh, the bust of Mahatma Gandhi and the yellow mats have been uh, all put. Uh, this is the beautiful East River that you are seeing and that is the Manhattan skyline. The UN headquarters uh, is uh, located uh, in the backdrop. and. Uh, these are visuals that we are getting uh, from the UN headquarters in New York. Uh, the North Lawns is where all the action is playing out. Indeed, and uh, we can clearly see that uh, amongst the people we saw in the frame earlier, we, uh, uh, Mr. Korosi was there. In fact, let's go across live. Very familiar with that many world leaders are embodying and we see this as we look around to many people who aim to be the change that they want to see in the world. Excellencies, distinguished participants, yoga masters, brothers and sisters, all of those watching on web TV and joining us today, namaste. A very warm welcome to everyone. Happy International Day of Yoga 2023. This is the time that we've all been waiting for. The time has come for me to share how much we're deeply honored. We are so privileged to have with us today none other than the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji. 
a distinguished world leader, and an ardent yoga practitioner. I'd like to remind everyone that it is Prime Minister Modi G himself back in December 2014 who introduced the idea of establishing World Yoga Day to the UN General Assembly. A record number of 175 member states recognized yoga's universal appeal and adopted the landmark resolution proclaiming June 21 as International Yoga Day, the day of the summer solstice here in the North. So every 21 of June is World Yoga Day. This day provides people everywhere across the globe, all of us and everyone watching, an opportunity to reflect upon the countless benefits of practicing yoga. Indeed, an invaluable gift in the world from India's ancient tradition. We thank the Honorable Prime Minister of India for this notable initiative, which is now celebrated worldwide with enthusiasm and vigor. I will now begin the official part of today's event by requesting Ambassador Ruchira Kamboj, India's permanent representative to the United Nations, to the stage to deliver her opening remarks. Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, Mr. President of the General Assembly, Madam Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Mayor, distinguished ambassadors, distinguished guests, and all my dear friends and colleagues from this wonderful audience. Today's celebration is indeed very, very special. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lead us in doing yoga here at the United Nations lawns. To put matters in perspective, it was under his leadership and under his guidance that 21st June was declared as International Yoga Day. And it is only fitting, therefore, that the inspiration behind the idea is with us today in this scenic, multicultural setting of the United Nations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is truly beautiful to see so many around the world gather in solidarity for yoga. It is not living with the burden of weight or the lightness of oblivion. It is a choice made with balance. An idiosyncratic beauty, timeless throughout the progress of humanity, yoga has endured. It is truth beyond articulation, wisdom beyond time. I hope all of you will cherish 21st June this year and hold it close to your hearts, today and forever. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Cambodge, for your remarks. It's my turn now to invite the Honorable President of the UN General Assembly, Mr. Chaba Karoshi, for the stage. Honorable Prime Minister, Madam Deputy Secretary General, Mr. Mayor, Madam Ambassador, Dear friends, Namaste. Yoga is a way of uniting mind and body, and also the environment and us. The most memorable university lectures I attended as a student many years ago were on cultural traditions of ancient Eastern civilizations. They helped me understand that we are part of nature, despite regarding ourselves as aristocratically detached from other creatures. I also learned that the energies in the universe and inside us abide by the same law, 
a desire to achieve balance. Yoga changes our physical performance. But more importantly, it can spark in us different mental and intellectual performance with a control that it teaches over ourselves we learn how to make change and impact. Since that university lecture, I've been an admirer of yoga. I'm very proud of my daughter, who has already reached a high level of practice and is continuing her journey. Thanks to her, I understand better yoga's ethical guide. guide. The guide which includes the principle of non-stealing, non-greed, non-hoarding, and non-violence. In other words, yoga's ethical guide to living is a guide to sustainability, not overusing resources that belong to all of us, not prioritizing short-term gains over planetary boundaries, and working for transformation. Our world needs balance, self-control, and creativity, just as it needs recognition of moral responsibilities and cherishing peace and justice. There are many ways to approach these aims. Yoga is one of the means for which I have a special respect. I'm happy to be here with all of you today. But let me apologize in advance. I am not a yoga practitioner, and the positions which you will show might look very different from what I end up doing. Still, I'm here with an open heart and open mind. Thank you very much. Thank you, President Kuroshi, for highlighting the transformative power of yoga and in such a very personal way. At this time, I would now ask that Mayor Eric Adams, the mayor of the city of New York, please take the stage. <clears throat> to Prime Minister Modi, to President of the General Assembly, to Deputy Secretary General, to Your Excellencies, to the Ambassador, to all of you. Do not miss the significance of this moment. New York City is the largest and most important city in America. As I stand before you as the mayor of that city, I share with you in a clear and a universal